Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. Looking forward to seeing you in the services today as we almost finish Acts 27, as we study how God brought a great deliverance and rescued Paul and 276 men on board with him. But right now, let's come back to the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Let me read it to you from the New Living Translation. Finally, dear brothers and sisters, we urge you in the name of the Lord Jesus to live in a way that pleases God as we have taught you to. You live this way already and we encourage that you do so even more and more. For you remember what we taught you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. God's will for you is to be holy. That's God's will, be holy. So stay away from all sexual sin, pornography, heavy petting, messing around, putting your hands where they don't belong, premarital sex, masturbation, the list goes on and on. Stay away from all sexual sin. Then each one of you will control his own body and live in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion like the pagans who do not know God and his ways. Never harm or cheat a fellow believer in this matter by violating his wife. For the Lord avenges all such sins as we have solemnly warned you before. God has called us to live holy lives, not impure lives. Now, notice the great specific detail Paul gets into. The world has not changed. It's gotten worse, but it hasn't changed. In Paul's day, they had problems with men, you know, flirting with and hitting on the wives of other men in the church. And, you know, Paul said, don't, don't do this stuff. Stay away from all sexual sin and, and don't violate or cheat one of your brothers in Christ by, by going after his wife. This kind of stuff that happens today is, is no different than happened in that day. And the answer to all of it is just what Paul said, stay away from all sexual sin. Now, now brothers and sisters, Paul is just being very simple and very clear. Stay away from all sexual sin. Once that lust starts flowing, you're going to do something wrong. So the best way, avoid it. Stay away from all sexual sin.